kick. Oh, not a good one. Could go out uh, over the line and uh, will be a free to the base. Wasn't touched, and this is uh, Copping. Steve Copping tucked in on that boundary line. Scoreboard side here at the Glenelg Oval. A difficult shot. Will curl back a little. It's curled back beautifully for him. And that's a magical goal. Steve Copping and the Bays back in front again. They've got a six-point advantage. Well played, Copping. Well, he's the man that uh, I think the Sturt defence have really got to watch. He's lightning on the ground. Good, safe pair of hands. A superb kick at goal. And he certainly showed us by that kick that uh, that be true. Grinnell, 2-3. Sturt, 1-3. A difference of one goal. The big men that we're about to see do battle again will be Davies and Carey. So far, have been on the ball all of the first term. Greg Brand, long. Hold to the breeze. Will drop. And uh, Coleman, very strong. Front spot, right in front of the youngster in uh, Paul Hollis. Once again didn't quite get onto it, only travelled about 55 or 60 metres, down towards the Blues half forward line, here's a chance for young Wilson, punches the ball low and long and hits the post, says the goal umpire for one point so the Blues, 1-4 trial the Tigers, 2-3 it's the five point advantage, Glenelg have got that at the moment, halfway through the first quarter, once more it's Keith Coleman from the northern end straight down the ground, another long kick, Carey Davies sticking to each other like glue. Gathered by Farquhar, the defender, out to McFarlane. Wide it goes to uh, Bradley. Now it's Hodgman. And uh, they're starting to set up the run. Bradley once again send the Tigers into attack down ground towards that forward line. Whistle on play here. Infringement. And Richard Hill to emerge with the ball and take this kick out of defence. Linnell 2-3, Sturt 1-4. Well, reflex mark that was taken at the ankle height. That was a beautiful bit of work from the fullback. He'll go wide, Andy Zill there, but a taller player over the top is Davies, and he's taken a good mark. Our back flank. Carey on the mark. Both players, obviously respectful of one another, will check each other all day. McGarry over the back, can't quite control it. Trying to pull the ball out. Mike Farquhar is there. Graham Corns, 250 games to this man. Just a little slow, but tap the ball forward. Zill. Friedrichs, beautifully smothered, McFarlane allows Paul Weston the chance with one bounce, then long. And again, Hill versus Robbie Walter, beautifully spoiled Pete Hargraves over the line for a throw in. It's a five point advantage to the Tigers, 2 3 on the board, Glenelg, 15 points to Sturt, 1 4 10. And uh, Sturt have really been off target when you uh, come to look at that five shots, they've only one goal so far past the halfway mark in this first quarter. Carey's there at that boundary throw in. Copping trying to work the ball out. Gives it across to uh, Rogers and the snapshot. Rogers making a great opportunity there and slipping it through for the fourth goal. Uh, third goal uh, to Glenelg. He joins Marshall and Copping who booted the first two. Well, once again, it was Stephen Copping. Lightning fast groundwork. Beautiful reflexes. Here's the throw in. Two men vie for the ball. Look at Copping do all the work. Came out, then got the handball. The right footer. Swinging around, I think he's a natural left footer, is Phil Rogers. And plants through his first goal. And Glenelg 3-3, Sturt 1-4. Again, McVicker this time in ruck. Opposition Davies. Comes out, Anderson's got the run of the ball. Zilm's there with him, 33. Anderson thumps that left footer downfield. Into that pocket. And pass comes across for Leonard. And Leonard can easily clear the ball around. It's very close to the line out of side. Chance for Zilm again. And the umpire says the ball is held to Zilm. It will be a bounce on that left half forward flank for Glenelg. 3-3, three, three, the, the Tigers, 21 to Sturt, 1-4-10. Certainly had Andy Zilm like a bag of spuds then. Anderson, the left footer, deep into the pocket. It's too wide, as a matter of fact, over the line. Bobby Walter will have to pass that over to this man and Jeff Leonard. Looks to be playing in the back pocket, guarding the Rovers today with a drop punt. Long to his half-back line, a massive play, beautifully plucked off Colin McVicker. This man, we normally don't see very many field marks as a ruckman, but normally tucked away into that forward pocket, a very dangerous player. The tumble punt kick towards Hill, Robbie Walter, and tapped over the line defensively for a throw in. Boundary umpire Vin Camparelli being very busy. 
as will be, of course, his co-boundary umpire, Nix. The throw in. Pete Hargraves over the top, Anderson to Copping. The fit of the fumbles, out comes Anderson, tries a shovely-looking kick. Pete Hargraves at the bottom of that heap, and that's very untidy football. We'll see a bounce. Yes, about 15 minutes out, uh, 15 metres out from the uh, Glenelg uh, forward zone. 3-3 on the board to the Tigers, one goal forward Sturt. Carey, an in interference there on Hargraves, and Hargraves will uh, take this one for Sturt right on the last line of defence. Hargraves to the half-back flank. Davies versus McVicker at the back thorns, tidies up nicely, sends the ball rather wildly into the centre of the ground. Under the drop of it there was Craig, merging with it Hulst. Tigers back into attack over the half-forward spot, well read by Copping. My word, he's having a wonderful season, Stephen Copping. And he started off well in this first quarter today. He's been instrumental in uh, many fine forward moves uh, and goals to the Tigers. And now on that half forward left position, Copping has the chance to send this one right in. A couple of big deep breaths and got himself all set now. 45 metres out. He's got the distance. He's got the accuracy. That's a wonderful kick, Steve Copping. His second goal. And the Tigers move away now to a 17 point advantage. Well, a half-forward can't do much more than what Stephen Copping has done so far in the uh, first 20-odd minutes of this term. He's played superbly. His movements, positiveness, handball, shoveling the ball out, and finally topped off with a very nice-looking long 50-metre kick. Once again, McVicker versus Davies. Craig in trouble. Zilm farms it out to Heinrich. He goes long and low into the forward pocket. Oh, little Wilson almost the miraculous mark for Jim LaHoo, the crumbs. Wide, Mutton versus Marshall. Back with the big M's, and uh, Martin, um, Mutton at the moment has won this particular battle. Finely built wingman, plenty of pace. A low, wobbly looking drop punt, and uh, Peter McInerney Rover picked this one up, 15 metres for tapping the ball out of his hands. McInerney always wanting to get on with it, that's a bad kick from him, because it's hit Mutton on the chest, back to where it came from, Low, who's got the chance, but McGarry gets in under the fall of the ball. And the youngster takes a nice mark and wins 15 metres for an infringement straight after the mark. So Robert McGarry playing at half forward today against Mike Farquhar. 60 degree angle, as you can see, only about 20 metres out. Drops the ball awkwardly, but spears the centre. His first and the Blues second. 4-3 the Tigers, 2-4 the Blues. Yeah, well, that was a costly mistake there by uh, McInerney as you'll watch this play. Gets the 15-metre penalty. Brings him up more towards the uh, centre wing area. Kick on its way, looking for McVicker, obviously. That's the only player that I could see anywhere near the ball. But chip, uh, chipping in Mutton sends it down to McGarry. And uh, resultant goal there at the Blues to uh, give them their second. 2-4, trailing the Tigers four goals three. Weston knocked across. Corns at centre-half forward. Out comes Hardiman to take him on. Anderson to McVicker. Wide it comes from Marshall. Marshall's been able to slip away from Mutton this time and send the ball in towards that full forward spot. Copping once more. Comes out to uh, Leonard. Hodgman dragged to the ground. McInerney to support. Copping once more and here's danger. Captain Weston, high kick into that full forward zone. Dropping back Hill 28 but across the back comes Hargraves and Hargraves will clear to the outer side. With a long drop punt wide looking for Zilm desperately close to the line but he's uh, had the effect that he wanted to couldn't take it touched it saved the kick back from the kick on the fall now we'll see the throw in Davies McVicker head down tail up oh Heinrich it's a bad one in the face nasty one a little bit of a scuffle it's out McFarlane he's had his nose broken quite a few times before looks as if he's lining up for another the square dance, somebody must have dropped some money on the grass, I think. Both umpires in very, very quickly. I feel that it must go to a Blues player. It must go to uh, Heinrich. That's Philip Heinrich. The Rover. Doesn't win too many votes from the Bay stand. But certainly the very high hit around the head area was there. That caused that scuffle. To so clear it away from the area. Nice looking drop punt. Drift just slightly, and a fine mark taken by David Bradley. First while half-back flanker, nice looking drop punt. Anderson, Hardiman, Hardiman almost the one-hander, no, it's gone the other way. Holding the player down while he's going for the ball, 
and uh, Anderson will take the kick. Surprise package at half forward today for the Tigers. Oh, the kick's not good. Yes, uh, 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 Gary Mutton here in defence uh, between the uh, back pocket uh, position and the half-back flank and goes towards the uh, centre of the ground. Oh, Wilson will leap up over the top. And finally, it's uh, free to be awarded to uh, Glenelg to be taken by Bradley from the centre of the ground. Tigers still with an 11-point advantage. The kick from Bradley could find. It does find uh, Rogers here just inside the half-forward position. Rogers has booted one goal today. That was a snapshot. Only metres out from the goal front. Now he's got the direct shot towards the southern goal here at the bay. Only uh, 35 metres out. Left foot on its way. It's all right. It's the fifth goal of the Tigers and the second to Phil Rogers. So both uh, Steve Copping and Phil Rogers have put two on the board and David Marshall has kicked a single goal here so far in the first quarter. Just about ready to go into the time on period. And here's uh, the play once more. As you'll see, Bradley take it from uh, the half-back line under at Rogers. And Rogers tops it off with a good straight left footer uh, for the fifth goal to the Bays. He's working on memory. I was going to walk home on web feet. He is a left footer. I caught him on the uh, natural foot for his first goal. He's got one with the left foot for his second. McVicker, Davies taken by Friedrich, supported by Martin. Well done, uh, Colin Casey, the veteran of the... He'd be the youngest veteran of the blue side as he works the ball across his half-forward line. Picked up by David Holst. Rogers slips at a critical time. Now puts pressure on himself as Hardiman comes in. Casey also trying to shovel it out. Oh, Horns gets a high one. Hanging on, says umpire Des Foster. And once again, Phil Rogers with a left foot. Down towards his half-forward line. Topping. Bit of grabbing going on there. Forward it to Hodgman. He's been a quiet rover in this first quarter. And disappointed with himself with that kick as well he might be too. He's a far better player than that. Played a superb state game last weekend. And uh, for his club this week, he's been relatively quiet. Richard Hill, Sturt fullback to uh, bring it back in from the back pocket position. Towards the grandstand side. Corns got up over the top and that's a superb mark for Graham Corns. That's typical Thornsey fashion, right up over the top of those packs and uh, wins the approval of the big crowd here today at Glenelg. Graham Corns playing his 250th game for the Tigers. Drop punt. Won't quite carry. Spills over the back of the pack and through. A very quick kick there and through it goes. It was uh, Walter, Robbie Walter, that gathered at the back to uh, slip it through.